She knows what she wants. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> well, if you've been doing something 20 years, you better, you you better, better get know that. good or get <laughs> out, right? <laughs> okay. You're right. Well, Mr. McKenzie, we're sitting here having a, a few chortles, as they say. Right. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm sorry. I have a little frog here all of a sudden. But um, really, it's nice to have a chance to talk with you because I have never met you before. I know you only through your, your past work. I think now that the whole world is going to become very much more aware of John McKenzie because of the fourth protocol. Do you have that feeling or that hope yourself? I think you always have it. Every time you do a film, you know, you think, this is it. This is going to be the big thing. Um, because it's nice to have that. It would be nice, to, uh, uh, not just from an egotistical point of view, it's great to have um, feel that you're making an impact on people and it helps you in your future work, you know, because you know, we're gypsies. Uh, our last job, our next job depends on our last job in a way. And you've got to keep doing a little bit of good sometimes, otherwise you don't get employed anymore. You did a picture in which Pierce Brosnan had a, a smaller role, much smaller role, called The Long Good Friday. Mm. Now, did that have anything at all to do with his being in this movie? Yeah, everything, really. Because um, when we decided to elaborate the, the Russian part, because in the original he was quite a sort of nebulous, vague character, and I wanted to bring him much more into the foreground, uh, when that was decided, one had to think of what one wanted in the way of the person that was going to play the part. And I, I remember, and I didn't want a sort of heavy, dark, villainous character. I wanted someone that would be personable and that women would like, because a little bit of the thing with the uh, with the girl. So, uh, and I thought of Pierce because I'd worked with him four or five years ago, and at that time I spotted him as a guy who had tremendous screen presence. You know, he just had an impact as soon as he was on the screen. So, and I thought of him almost. Um, more or less immediately, once, I st you know, once we started the cast, we said, who are we going to have for this part? And I thought of about three names, and then and he came up in my head, and I thought, no, that guy would be good. So we approached him and got him. Was there any hesitancy on his part to take this? Because he is such a villainous character, mm. and at least in America, Pierce Brosnan has this, you know, clean, heroic sure. image. And I should think, if I were in his shoes, that I would have had to think about it. Yeah. I, I think he probably did, yeah. I mean, he didn't go into the details with me, but I think he thought about it. But I think, really, what was important to him, and uh, important to him as, a, as an actor, really, is you've got to spread your... You know, you can't get typecast into a very small mold and be a sort of, like, good-looking slightly plastic hero. Uh, so he is an actor and he wants to be able to um, spread his talent and this was an ideal way to do it in a way because there you have a totally different character. So without having to put beards on and moustaches and you know and uh, make yourself look, he could show that he can be a different sort of guy altogether and the most important thing he could show that he had to be a powerful fella. He had to register very strongly on the screen, and that's good for an actor in his, in his uh, position. I wonder also, Mr. McKenzie, if there was any thought given to the fact that Michael Caine would play the Brosnan role, and in other words, that they would just switch. Because, and, and what makes me say that is that Brosnan was talked about for Bond. Mm -hmm. So if, if he couldn't play Bond, he would play the part that Michael Caine plays. I see. And yeah. Michael would play the <laughs> bad play guy. play the bad guy. Um, the short answer is we didn't give any consideration to that at all because uh, uh, when the idea was conceived, when Freddie decided to adapt the book, he approached Michael. And Michael knew that the... Uh, it's an interesting concept, mind you, what you're saying. Uh, but Michael uh, was sort of... Taylorish made for the Preston character, and he had to be an older guy than than uh, than, than Brosnan is. And you, uh, I mean, the business about him having been married and his wife, is, although you don't know where his wife, you, you you reckon his wife's dead, which she is, and him having a child and all of that. So there's a certain maturity about the Preston part. He's reached an age, which uh, is quite essential to the part that he's mature. So I think it would have. Off, it would have unloaded the part too much. And the other thing is that I wanted to get into the idea of the Russian guy is that, you know, he's still very much a young man and he's isolated and he misses his girlfriend or his 
woman or whoever, and there he is isolated in this situation in England, and so um, uh, that idea should be was, was very important that it should be a young fellow who was feeling this. One last question. Is it more difficult to make a film from a screenplay based on a novel rather than a screenplay written directly for the screen? It's different. Um, you have, because uh, with us an original, then that is it. You know, no one can make odious comparisons and say, my God, the book was so much better. Um, on the other hand, the book it provides a sort of template. It's, the, you know, you've got the bare outline. Because often the most complicated thing it, a lot of writers find is the actual narrative. You know, what is the story? A lot of people can write, screenplay writers can write great characters and all of that. But they, they find the actual complexities of the story quite difficult to arrive at. But so it's very different. And, uh, but uh, the process is so that you can't really make a comparison in the sense of saying one is better than the other. Well, I've enjoyed having this chance to talk with you, brief though it has been. And I do hope that uh, the fourth protocol does well for you because it is a heck of a picture. I mean, it's really something you sit there on the edge of your seat, enjoy from beginning to end. So I hope it does well for you. Thank you very much. I hope so too. Thank you. Nice meeting you. It's a nice interview. Thank you. <laughs> yes, we do. You worked with Pierce Brosnan in a picture you directed. Uh, let me start again. You worked with Pierce Brosnan in a picture you directed called *The Long Good Friday*. Now, did that have anything to do with his getting this role? American audiences, at least, know Brosnan from *Remington Steele* and that heroic image, and now here he is playing a really bad guy. Was any thought ever given to having Michael Caine and Pierce Brosnan reversing their roles in this? Is it more difficult to do a movie based on the screenplay of a novel rather than a screenplay written directly for the film? And I'll just give you silent reactions. Okay, thank you.